Sometimes you just have too many things on your plate and you could really use a personal assistant. Yes, and some guys from New York City have combined the trend of robotic toys and the need for a PA or maybe even a friend. They create the first everyday working personal robot. Today with us, Dewey. Dewey, your robot looks really cool. Tell us, how does it work? Sure. Um, so, um, the way the robot works is that it, uh, it can see the world in the same way that we human do. It can recognize faces, like your faces, uh, objects and things around the house. Uh, it understands uh, what you tell it to do. Uh, it can move around autonomously. Um, so, it's pretty much like a person around the house. And next to being a PA, what can he be more? Sure. Um, so here's here are some of the, uh, the the things that I really like about her. Um, so for example, it just um, comes naturally, I guess. Oh, uh, she's just speaking up. Um, <laughs> the thing is that uh, say if I have a party now, um, I don't have to take the phone out and snap photo around the party. I can just ask her to go around the party and I capture photos for me. Um, and she got advanced computer vision, so she can recognize smiling faces and take photo of my guests and my family members. Does she have a name, by the way? So uh, it's really personal. So you can name her with any name you want. Um, I name her Maya. This is my robot. But you can name her uh, in, in, with any name you want. Um, you can even change her face to a guy or uh, something else. So, and the next step for the step for the personal robot would be. So uh, we have a really great. Uh, Kickstarter campaign right now, and we just want to really focus on it and make sure we support um, all of our backers. We actually have about five or six orders from uh, from Netherlands so far, so uh, we just want to continue focus on that for now. Thank you so much, Dewey. Keep us up to date on uh, how Maya develops. If you want to know more on this topic, go to interconnection.com or the links below.